why it'll never work. Well, you have a lot of options when it comes to beautifying yourself, some surgical. We're talking to Beaumont plastic surgeon Anthony Yoon this morning. You've been in the chat room. I know you got a lot of good questions, yeah, right? Yeah, I have a lot more to answer still. You do? So we'll do that <laughs> right. after this. But you also, there are some things you can do at home without spending a lot of money, without going under the knife, so to speak, mm -hmm. to do some, some subtle improvements, right? Yeah, so not everybody wants to spend 50 to $100 on a cream or have expensive surgery. So these are some inexpensive options that you can do using ingredients you have at home. I now, love this. Now, they're not going to work quite as quickly as the prescription strength creams yes. or as having surgery, but they do work. They do work. Yes. There's real science behind this. Oh, yeah. And we'll explain All right, let's one. start with this one. Okay, so one problem people have is puffiness under their eyes. Yes. And there's that kind of old thing where you put the cold cucumbers. But what, what works better than cucumbers is a combination of potato slices and green tea. Hmm. Okay, so what we do is we you steep some green tea and okay. then you put it in the, in the refrigerator and let it get nice and cold. Okay, when you and come that's home what we've from done work, with this. exactly, you come home from work at that day, you're, uh, at the end of the day, your eyes are tired, you feel like you look puffy, uh, you take some slices of potato, very thin slices, and you dip it in the green tea and you let it sit there for a few minutes to really let it get nice and soaked in. And then you take those potato slices out and you can put them on your eyes. All right, here you go. This is young Kelly, our beautiful intern. Now she doesn't need it, obviously, right. but just as an example so, here. So, Kelly, hold, that, you up hold there. that up there. Yeah, so how long would she have to do this? So while it's cold, you leave it on for about 10 minutes or so. Okay. And what happens is that the starch in the potatoes acts as an anti-inflammatory, but does? it also is a very Ooh. mild lightener of the skin. Okay, I'm going to give you another one for so your So that eye. works for that. And then the green here tea is <laughs> chock full of caffeine. Yes. So caffeine helps to constrict blood vessels. That yes. will help tighten up the skin, so reduce the puffiness, but it also is chock full of antioxidants. That's why it's so good for so you. it's good for your skin. Exactly, and it All helps right. to reverse the aging, fight uh, free radical damage, even the UV radiation that you've had during the day. Would you do this? This is not going to have a long-term effect. It's going to help you for that it's just, time. It's a good, soothing, instant eyelid okay. depuffer. All right, good. What do we have here? Okay, so this next one basically is for wrinkles. Now, we all do chemical peels in the inner offices. Um, these chemical peels sometimes are lunchtime peels using fruit acids. Yeah. Well, you can use fruit acids at home as you well. You can? So what you do is you take two tablespoons of apple juice. Yes. You take two tablespoons of milk yeah. and an egg white. Okay. And you mix it up in a little bowl. This is okay. what we have in here? Exactly. Okay. You mix it up in a little bowl and then apply it to your skin. Now, you leave it on for about 15 minutes, and you're going to feel your skin start to harden. And that's from the albumin in the egg whites. It acts yeah. like a tightening, uh, like a saran wrap almost for your skin. Hmm. The apple juice like has malic acid, and the, and the milk has lactic acid. And these are alpha-hydroxy or fruit acids, basically. Huh. And so it will get you a nice kind of a light chemical peel. Now, this is not the similar to the peels that we do in the office necessarily, not nearly that strong. Right. Uh, but this is kind of similar to what you can get in the home chemical peels that you get over the counter. But really? it just costs pennies. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Now, this one I'm excited about because I have an issue. Yes. With some spots on my face, brown spots from the sun, right? Yeah, so they're called sun spots or age spots or liver spots. They have nothing to do with the liver, but they're liver colored. Yes. And these are basically, it's basically due to sun damage. Okay. And we can treat them with IPL, which is expensive light-based treatments with creams, but you can also treat it at home. And what you do is it's just a tablespoon of each, a tablespoon of lemon juice, okay. a tablespoon of soy milk, and a tablespoon of honey. And you mix it up in a small bowl and apply it to your skin and leave it on your skin for a good 20 to 30 minutes. Minutes. Now, the lemon juice has citric acid, and that's a very mild skin lightener. Okay. Soy milk is great for lightening the skin because it will actually block the production of melanin in your skin. Oh. Okay. And it has vitamin E and vitamin A, which is also great for your skin. Okay. And the honey is an antibacterial that also can soothe your skin. You apply this a couple of times a week. Now, this takes a few months to really work. So if you want to see quick results, you got to do something more aggressive. But for those people who want to just spend a few pennies on each treatment, yeah. do it at home, works nicely it's with time. It's kind of soothing, too. And, exactly. and you're there watching a show or whatever. Especially the so honey and the soy milk, great yeah. soothing on the skin. What if I want to do something uh, more quickly to get rid of my brown spots? Is it a laser or what is it? Yeah, well, the one that we recommend is called IPL. It's like a laser. You do a couple of treatments and you can literally see those dark spots get darker and then fall right off. Oh, okay.
Uh, that might be a, a good option. A for little me. faster than this, <laughs> but a lot more expensive. Uh, yeah, right. Okay, good point. Yeah, there's pros and cons to everything. All right, Dr. Yoon, I'll let you get back to the chat room. Uh, the doctor is in at myfoxdetroit.com answering any question you have about plastic surgery, the good, the bad. Um, so you'll be in the chat room for a little bit longer. So thank you. Thank Kelly, you nice much. job. Thank you. Still looking young and beautiful. Very good. Uh, it is like Christmas in July, but are the